Hello, I'm Lloyd Bonson, and you join me today at Brands Hatch for the opening rounds of the 2017 Brick Cover National Formula Ford 1600 Championship with Avon Tyres. As you can see, the cars are getting ready to go out there onto the track, so I hand you over to Scott to take you through the grid. Thanks, Lloyd. Here's the first grid of the season. Luke Williams on pole alongside Stephen Daly with Joshua Smith and Neil McLennan on row two. Luke Cooper and Jamie Thorburn ahead of Matt Round Garrido and James Rowe Jr. with Jake Byrne and Josh Fisher rounding out the top ten. Tom MacArthur 11th alongside club and post-89 pole man Henry Chart, then Michael Eastwell and Jack Wolfenden, Rory Smith and John Spencer. David MacArthur and James Scott Murphy ahead of Chris Apton and club and pre-90 pole man Ryan Campbell, then John Ferguson and David Cobbold ahead of Vincent Jay and Mark De Rosario. And then the last few cars on the grid, Archie Hine, John Clayson, Eric Moulinet, Paul Barnes, Sam Street, Andrew Kluge and Ben Palavoda. It's a 31-strong grid for the opening round of the Brick Cover National Formula 4 1600 season and we're away in racing. Good start from Williams and from McLennan from row two. Here's the view from Archie Hyde as he watches the swarming pack in front of him charge towards Paddock Hill Bend. Here's Rory Smith getting a pass from Chris Acton on the inside. This is now watching David Cobb on. And then we see a tag there. That is Rory Smith around as Archie Hyde collects Mock de Rosario and he hits Rory Smith. Oh, goodness me. First corner of the season and already there's drama. Both Smith and Archie Hyde are out on the spot. They're both moving. That's the main thing to see. But I'm afraid that could be a red flag. Well, the field are oblivious to this. They're already exiting Graham Hill Bend and up towards Surtees for the first time. Lots of battling for position here as they head up towards the left-hander, sweeping up towards clearways. It's already a fight developing here for fifth with Jamie Thorburn in the blue car, number 50, ahead of Luke Cooper and James Rowe Jr. and Josh Fisher. But arms out from the cockpit, so no wonder. Red flag, the race is being stopped. And that's why car stricken at the bottom of Paddock Hill Bend and the officials have no choice but to go for Brands Hatch, race one, take two. Right, let's get underway once again. Good start once more from Stephen Daly and from Luke Williams as they head towards Paddock. Jack Clayton, meanwhile, the safest place to be, starting from pit lane. Up towards Paddock, it's Luke Williams who will lead, Daly in second place, heading through, and there's contact already. That's John Svensson gets a tag from somebody, does a complete 360, but faces the right way, and puts the floor, and away he goes again. Without that, I think, well, I've got away pretty much drama-free. Back towards the front, it's Neil McLennan, the former Scottish champion, charging onto the back of teammate Stephen Daly into Paddock Hill Bend. Up the inside as McLennan takes the inside line for the right-hander. And as we see Stephen Daly, the move is done, and McLennan slots in to second place. Up towards Druids for the umpteenth time. We should explain the class structure for this season. It's brand new for 2017. Now, these guys at the front are in the National Pro class. They're battling for the $200,000 scholarship shootout opportunity for the Master Road to Indy. So they're the main front runners and those who are eligible for it. And then we have the Clubman class, which is for the more enthusiast drivers and rookie drivers finding their feet. And there are classes for both post-89 and pre-90 cars, depending on the age of your chassis. So lots of racing set across the season. It's an eight-meeting calendar. Spreading all four corners of the United Kingdom. As we watch the battle here between Tom MacArthur in the white number 17 and Jake Byrne number 76. Byrne looking to try and make an attack on the inside. But MacArthur has got the line covered. Now I'm back on board with Stephen Daly. Still following McLennan in the second place into Druids. And there's a car spinning in front. That's Ben Palavoda. He comes back across. Oh, and Daly tags him. Now, Palavoda was only trying to recover as the field swings past. Luke Cooper's got through, MacArthur will try and do so, but has Daly got damaged? But well, he's really holding up Tom MacArthur here. MacArthur physically pushing him out of the corner, and yet I'm out of the cockpit, and I'm afraid that is Stephen Daly's race done and dusted through no fault of his own. We're back with this battle that's going on between Josh Smith, James Rowe Jr. in the ex nile Murray RF99 chassis that won the title last year so dominantly, and Jamie Thorburn. We still focus on... Jack Byrne, who did, did manage to get past Tom MacArthur. As they turn their way into the right-hander. And that is Jamie Thorburn chasing after Luke Cooper in front. Meanwhile, leaders up through 30s for the penultimate time. It's still Luke Williams in the Furman chassis, the brand-new Furman chassis that was brought in last year. has had a whole year of development, and it's really satisfying to see it up at the front of the field. But he's coming under massive pressure now from Neil McLennan, who has dropped the cars behind him and is really giving Williams some headaches here. Onto the pit straight to start the final lap. Here comes McLennan to the outside at Paddock Hill Bend. But Williams has the line covered. 
So McLennan will sit back here and try another attack up towards Druids. Here's Ray Jr. in third place, the white car in the background of the shot. Through the right hander at the top of the hill, nothing moving for Williams. McLennan staying true, staying firm. But at the moment, it doesn't look as though he's found any avenue and he's running out of options here to try and make that crucial race winning pass. There's a couple of cars ahead that are being lapped, but they shouldn't become too much of a factor. Up into clearways, up into McLaren for the final time. McLennan needs a super little exit to try and snatch the victory away on the pit straight through Clark Kerb. And he's got one, you know. Down the pit straight comes both the two cars in the lead. Williams defends. McLennan will close, but it's going to be too late. Williams wins the first race of the season with McLennan second, Rowe Jr. third, then Thorburn, Fisher, Byrne, Cooper, MacArthur, Matt Brown, Garrido, and Jack Wolfman are rounding out the top ten. James Scott Murphy comes 11th, we'll have Joshua Smith in 12th, Michael Eastball 13th, and John Svensson, after his spin, still wins the Clubman Post 89 class. Then Vincent J, John Ferguson, uh, Chris Acton, David Cobbold wins Clubman Pre-90, then John Clayton, Eric Moulinay, Paul Barnes, Sam Street, then Palavoda and Andrew Cluj are the 24 finishers. What an opening race of the season, and you'll see that Lloyd has the top three on the podium, including winner Luke Williams. Luke, fantastic win here today at Brands Hatch in the first race. Talk us through what happened out there, because it was quite an eventful uh, quite an eventful race, really, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, we managed to get two starts. Uh, nasty crash at the start, which is never good to see, but managed to get another good restart and, um, and pull a gap, actually. We we managed to gap quite well until we got to the back markers, and then I just caught them at the wrong place, and I saw that Neil and, um, I think it was Stephen Daly at the time, managed to... Uh, Managed to get through them a bit easier, and I thought, oh, well, the gap's closing, but I was still managing the gap. I was happy enough. Super first race of the season, absolutely delighted. Um, no, we had uh, two great starts. First start was really, really well. Um, got, got straight into third place, got past Josh, but then the red flag came out, so knew it was going to be a restart, so tried again for another good start and achieved that, so I was absolutely delighted. It wasn't easy where I started in six, so I knew um, I had a good bit to do, but yeah, it worked out. It worked out. Got, um, been racing and just raced hard and fair and got by them and that was it and the two lads were gone at that stage um, after all the racing but I'm happy enough for that. The second race of the weekend sees Luke Williams and Neil McLennan on the front row of the grid. James Rowe Jr. and Jamie Thorburn on row two ahead of Josh Fisher, Jake Byrne, Luke Cooper and Tom MacArthur with Matt Round Garrido and Jack Wolfenden completing the top ten. James Scott Murphy and Joshua Smith on row six ahead of Michael Eastwell and club and post 89 pole man John Spenson with Vincent J and John Ferguson on row eight. Chris Acton and pre-90 club and pole man David Cobold ahead of John Clayton, Paul Barnes, Sam Street and Ben Palavoda with Andrew Cluj and Stephen Daly back in 24th. He's a man to watch from row 12. Ryan Campbell and David MacArthur ahead of Mark De Rosario and amazingly Rory Smith, Henry Chart and Archie Hine all take the start after their race one incident on the first lap. On board with Stephen Daly, watch for the lights. Away they go, good start from the number four. Mega task ahead of him from 24th on the grid. Meanwhile, McLennan, his teammate, is in the lead up towards Paddock Hill Bend. On board with James Rowe Jr. Williams into second place. Back with Stephen Daly as they turn through. His way is almost blocked. He's got cars all over the place in front of him. But into Druids for the first time. It is still McLennan, Williams and James Rowe Jr. Josh Fisher in fourth. Good battles towards the front, including Luke Cooper. On board with Jack Clayton. And there's more cars off in front. One car spinning and facing the wrong way. But the pro-class leaders already trying to exert their authority at the front of the field. Here's the on-board from Luke Cooper. And the Swift SC16. Chassis that came in last year, but it's had a year of development, like the new Furman. And already trying to get himself up there towards the front. He's coming under pressure from Jake Byrne already on this first lap. Watch for the zero of Josh Smith and also the 17 of Tom MacArthur in the mix as well. And also Matt Round Garrido, former junior saloon car racer, into single seaters and already loving life in Formula Fords. Into Paddock Hill Bend, back on board with Luke Williams, race one winner, also a winner at Alton Park in the Northern Championship opener back in March, and he's already really applying the pressure here. Last race it was McLennan being the hunter, but now he's the hunted, and it's roles reversed. Williams would dearly love to get a second victory if he can, but he knows it's not going to be made easy by the Scottish champion, Neil McLennan. And of course, you've got to watch for James Rowe Jr. behind him in third. Very capable driver, there he is in the white car, and Josh Fisher is having a fantastic race in fourth. Provided that he started this weekend as a first reserve, so that's not too bad for him. Through Clark Curve onto the pit straight once again. The top three started to break away ever so slightly now. In the toe, down the pit straight. There's Rowe Jr. in the number two. 
It's a big shoes to fill here. Racing Noel Murray's old car. From last season, very well put together. A little wide on the exit of Paddock Hill Bend. But he's watching Williams, who's dancing on the back of the gearbox of Neil McLennan as they turn their way through the right-hander at the top of the hill at Druids. Down the hill, up towards the left-hander at Graveville Bend again. The battle continues on, and Williams has got a really good run here. He's almost tucked underneath and pushing McLennan along down the back straight. But at the moment, McLennan is using all his defensive efforts to really hold on. Oh, slight slide from the 25 in the lead. Trying to get the traction down, but now Rowe Jr. has got a good exit here. And this is on board with Luke Cooper also putting pressure on Jamie Thorburn. That's the fifth position. Josh Fisher in the blue car in front ahead. Meanwhile, Williams looking to the inside at Paddock Hill Bend. McLennan leaves the door open. Williams lays her on the brakes. McLennan can't do anything about it. And as he scrabbles for traction, Williams hits the front again in, in race two of the weekend. Now then, the question is, can McLennan hold on? Or will he be full victim to James Rowe Jr. in third position? Here's Luke Cooper in front. Thank you for fifth position. Turn their way through Graham Hill Bend. This is fast and furious action here in the Brick Cover National Formula 4 1600 season opener at Brands Hatch. And there's more where that came from after the break.